The fourth vacuum in our commercial vacuum cleaner series is the Auric XL Commercial XL2100 RHS. We put it through all of our usual tests and compared it to some of its competitors, and this video will be the results and our review. So links in the description, and let's get started. This is my first Auric, and I feel kind of bad because I didn't really like it that much. But at the same time, it's one of Auric's cheapest models, and I'm sure their more expensive units are more likable. That being said, let's jump into the pros first because there are some things to really like about it. As I mentioned, the price is great. In fact, at current rates, you could buy four Auric XLs to one Windsor XP. So keep that in mind when I get to the negative stuff later on. Another pro is that it's really light. In fact, it may be the lightest full-sized upright on the market at only nine pounds, with a 1.2 pound handle weight, which means it's on average about half the weight of its competitors, which is crazy. Related to that, it's got a fairly unique handle design, which they call a helping hand handle, which apparently has received an award from the Arthritis Foundation for ease of use. So yeah, the Auric blows away its competition when it comes to weight and ease of use. It's a commercial vacuum, so it has some features that are intended to make it last longer and be easier to maintain. One of my favorites being the non-marring bumper, which protects the plastic. It seems easy to replace, and I think it's an excellent idea that I wish was available on every vacuum cleaner. I also really like that it came with an extra belt that was integrated into the vacuum. Also that the belt itself was ultra easy to replace by unscrewing the access door on the side. Another feature that I've never seen before but would like to. It's got a long 35-foot cord, which seems sturdy. It's not quite quite as long as its commercial competitors, but it's close. Another pro is that it does have a little plastic squeegee on the floor head, which means it can vacuum hard floors without scattering debris. It doesn't have a brush roll shutoff switch, but the plastic seal is almost as good. The final pro is that it has decent power. We tested its airflow at the cleaner head and measured it at 52 CFM, which is pretty much the same as the Windsor and Sanitaire Eon, one CFM more than the Windsor, in fact. It's not exactly a huge amount, but it's pretty good, and it performed really well on the crevice pickup test, picking up debris in both crevice sizes in just two passes, which I think is the best yet in this series. So its performance on tile floors would be great. So let's move on to the negative stuff. Its filtration was pretty bad. This isn't surprising for a vacuum in this price range, but in our air quality tests, it scored a whopping 3,600. That's 3,600 2.5 micron size particles in the air, where a passing score is 100. For a comparison, the Pro Team and the Windsor both scored around 54. I should mention here that I was using the standard paper bags that came with the machine, so I shouldn't really be surprised that it didn't do well on the test, but based on the mechanics of how this vacuum operates, I assume that if I had bought the HEPA bags, it would have passed with no issues at all. To be fair, in similar tests done by the Carpet and Rug Institute, other Oryx have passed this test, like the U2000R and the Magnesiums. I'll link all the Oryx that have passed the CRI filtration tests in the description below. But as far as this model, with the standard bag, it had an extremely poor showing in the filtration tests. As I mentioned, it can vacuum hard floors without scattering debris, but that doesn't mean it was particularly good on hard floors. I found that it took several passes to get fine debris, and it was pretty significantly limited with the size of debris, having trouble with fruity pebbles but still getting them, but unable to get Cheerios or anything larger. It wouldn't be such a big deal if there was a hose or a wand, but orcs do not have hoses or wands, so you're really stuck with picking up larger debris. On carpet, it was just okay with debris pickup. It did have trouble with extra large debris, which is kind of rare on carpet. On our deep clean test though, where we rub sand into a medium pile carpet and weigh the bags before and after, it had the worst score yet in this series at only 87%. It was also very loud, by far the loudest in this series, but maybe the loudest vacuum I've ever tested. I measured 91 decibels. So while I love the concept of an ultra lightweight vacuum, and I love all the unique innovations Oric has come up with, I didn't like the XL2100 and can't recommend it. That being said, I think I would really like some of the higher end Oryx, and if you have any suggestions for others to review, let me know in the comments. Consider a like if this video helped you out, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars if you're interested in this series on commercial vacuums, and thanks for watching.